Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this makeup and whatever looks the same, it's because I'm filming on the same day as my sheet mask empties. Anyway, this is the update for my low buy on 2017. Um, this is for May and I have a lot to share with you guys. Uh, if this is your first video of this series that you're viewing, I do write everything down in this composition notebook and I just track every purchase that I've made and then I tally everything up. I let you know um, how much that I've spent, what I've been spending my money on, etc. So let's just uh, hop on in. So I did get my Ipsy bag and play by Sephora for May. So $10 was to Ipsy, $10.60 was to play by Sephora. Um, I did do a couple of swaps. I only did four swaps, which is really good. Um, and I spent $15.50 on shipping. I did also make a purchase on Mac. And I know you guys are going to be like, well, Mac isn't cruelty free. Why are you spending money on Mac? Well, sometime last year I did sign up for their Mac Select program which is free to join it just gives you like free shipping on any order you get like an extra sample or whatever with your purchases and uh, when I reached my anniversary date they sent me an email and said I could get a free full-size patent lip polish um, with any purchase so it's like this is a $24 lip product and I can buy anything. I can buy anything. So I just looked on there. I found something that was a dollar. It was an insert for like a pro palette. It was just like a little um, like concealer eyeshadow like two pan insert for a dollar. So I paid a dollar and six cents with shipping included and tax included for this insert. I got the patent polish. I got the shade French Kiss, which is a really nice, like, nudie, brownie, rosy kind of color. And then I got a deluxe sample of the MAC Strobe Cream, I think. Or no, the Prep and Prime. And I also got a sample of their shade scents and um, little foils of some of their popular lipsticks. So I spent a dollar at MAC. MAC got a dollar from me. However, they probably paid more to ship it to me, so I probably cost them some money. No regrets. Um, I did make a couple of purchases at CVS. I do coupon, and I use my extra bucks. I was buying a couple of things for a swap that's coming up, so I spent $10.06 out of pocket at CVS this month. I also made some purchases at Sephora. I had a gift card, and so I didn't spend much. I spent 90 cents out of pocket. So if you guys didn't see, Formula X has been clearanced out of Sephora. I'm not sure if Formula X is folding. I don't know if they're like, what they're doing but they're clearanced at Sephora for two dollars a piece including base coats top coats treatments cuticle oil I even saw like delete all which is like the big five finger remover they had the hand cream they had all sorts of different things that are being clearanced out for two dollars a piece so I ended up buying 12 nail polishes a base coat and some bite beauty lipsticks like the in two that came in like the mini sets I got uh, rhubarb and thistle and I got uh, a sample of the drunk elephant um, TLC Framboose glycolic night serum that was a deluxe sample with purchase and I got a bite beauty lip liner that was a deluxe sample with purchase um, I just went a little bit crazy I actually have them right here. I don't usually show things like live in these videos, but I have them right here. And so, like here are some of them that I picked up. Like full-size nail polishes. These were $12.50 a piece originally, and I got them for $2 a piece. So, um, my Sephora orders, I, I did two separate orders so I could do, um, to get the $25 free like sample thing. So after my gift card, I spent 90 cents. So there's that. And then my own, my only other purchases, I did one purchase at Dollar Tree. 
I spent $2.12. I got another bottle of nail polish remover, which I needed. And then I also found a white nail polish from Kiss. Um, it's the Gel Strong Nail Polish in the shade French White. This looks really, really opaque. I don't have any just like plain white nail polishes. So I was like, it's a dollar and it looks so opaque that it might be an actually good white nail polish. I know it's very difficult to find white nail polishes that aren't streaky, that aren't translucent pretty much. So I tried that out. $2.12 and then my last purchase was a ColourPop purchase. They reeled me in. They were offering free shipping on any purchase and a free Super Shock Shadow in the shade Birthday Cake with any $10 or more purchase. So I picked up an Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Jiffy, which is with their Amanda Steele collaboration. And then I picked up um, a lippy stick in Skimpy, which was being clearanced out, and it was $4. So I spent $10. I got the Ultra Satin Lip, I got the lippy stick, and I got the Birthday Cake Super Shock Shadow for $10. So altogether, my spending for the month was $60.24. Um, I did get a big fat check from Ebates. It was only $7.81, but every little bit counts if you're not using Ebates. When you're shopping online, I'm not sure what you're doing with your life. This is not sponsored in any way. Ebates doesn't know who I am, but I do love Ebates and I love getting those quarterly PayPal deposits. So considering that I made a little bit of money back from Ebates, um, my net spending was $52.43. Um, I did also cash out from Ibotta, but I'm not counting that. I did cash out $30, but I'm not counting that towards this. Um, so my total spending was about $52. Um, not the best, but it's actually lower than it's ever been so far this year. So I'm really happy about that. Hopefully um, I can continue minimizing my out-of-pocket spending each month. This is just a process for me, you guys. Um, I hope that you understand that. That I'm sort of trying to slowly train myself to cut back and save money. It's not easy. I, I, don't, I don't think I have a huge spending problem compared to a lot of people that are on YouTube, but I do really need to rein it in. And I feel like um, doing things slower and more gradual is going to make a more lasting change for me. I think that that's better for me in the long run. So I'm really happy with the amount that I spent this month. Could I have done better? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I think that I did really well, all things considered. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for the photos. I have been doing a format where I just put photos of my purchases at the end of the video so you guys can see what I purchased without it being a really long haul video because I don't really want to do lots of hauls on my channel because I am trying to project pan and minimize my spending and minimize how much makeup that I'm bringing in even though it's been really hard but I don't want to enable people more than I have to <laughs> um, to share this with you so stay tuned for the photos of everything that I've purchased over the month of May Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the series. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. Hopefully I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye guys!